hey guys welcome to this new video and in this video we'll be checking out uh, the power bi interview questions and answers asked in excel services before that if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel you can subscribe to it because i'll be posting uh, frequently asked power bi questions to the data analyst and i have posted the videos how you can answer uh, the scenario based dax interview questions how what are the questions asked in epam solutions capgemini accenture and many more questions so if you are preparing as a data analyst uh, role uh, in the power bi itself uh, or sql or dax then you can follow and subscribe to my channel so let's get started so in this uh, video uh, we are checking out what are the questions asked in excel excel is an mnc company as you all aware of so let's get started so the first question interview asks is difference between rank versus dense rank so it will be a commonly asked question uh, when you go as a data analyst in power bi or as a power bi developer role so it will be like a uh, how, what's the difference between rank and dense rank in sql okay so uh, we have a sample data here which have a student scores rank and then we have a dense rank created okay so you can see the score have ties between amy and bob so in the rank there the rank will be skipped so second rank will be skipped but here in dense rank the second rank will not skipped if ties happen between the twos okay so that's the basic difference and you should aware of this so you can give the example like this you can create a table in front of the interviewer and you can give the example same like this okay so next question is what is the use of bookmarks so interview asks that what is the use of bookmarks so first you can tell the definition why you you are using the bookmarks and then we can see uh, the use cases so first is bookmarks are very powerful feature that allow users to capture and save the current state of the report page okay so what bookmark will do it will allow you to capture and save the current state of the report page including all the filters slicers and other page elements so whatever you have selected you can save that as a snapshot and create a bookmark so what's the use cases so use cases is first it's like a dashboard interactivity so if you cre have to create a dashboard interactivity you have to use the bookmarks for an interactive dashboard so where users can toggle between different kpis or data views okay the second use case is in the sales forecasting so you create different bookmarks for different forecast scenarios uh, so your users can switch between those different sales forecasting okay so if you are creating one for fc0 one for fc4 then you can your users can switch between those two views and compare those two views if you have a bookmark okay so next question is how do you refresh your power bi report let me zoom in okay so first we will do like manual refresh so using power bi desktop you can click uh, on the refresh button in the home tab and you can also right click on the data sets and the tables and click on refresh the second one is automatic refresh you can go in the power bi service in the data set setting you can select schedule refresh and you can set up the frequency daily weekly and the time of that refresh okay the third is quick keyboard shortcut from in the desktop you can press f5 to refresh all and also you can control r to refresh selected visual so if you want only the visuals to be refreshed then control r okay so in this way you have to give all three if your interview asks you how you refresh your report okay so you can tell that some reports we do manually refresh and some report we do automatic refresh and also you have to take care that you have to take care some of the key uh, tips okay so in pro accounts only eight refresh per day is allowed and in the premium uh, 48 refreshes per day is allowed okay so if you have a premium capacity then 48 refreshes you can do per day some data source need gateways 
set up like on premise sql server okay so if you have an on premise sql server then you need a gateway then interview can ask you what's what are the gateways so you can uh, basically tell them about the on premise data gateways how how you set up them basically okay let's move on to the next question write a sql query for second highest salary so interview can ask you uh, seventh highest sixth highest uh, or second highest is the most common so i have written this query down in the most easiest manner you can answer and uh, we have used the dance rank okay so select salary from then in the sub query select salary comma dance rank and then uh, we have used over order by salary descending as a rank from employee uh, and where rank equal to two so if interview asks you uh, what is the fifth highest you can put where rank equal to fifth okay so this query is very important in many of the interviews they will ask you rank dense rank and the second highest salary to check your windows function capabilities uh, do you know windows functions in sql so they generally check with this question okay because here uh, they are checking like you know the difference between rank and dense rank and how you can use them okay so now interview give two tables basically so one is like a world cup uh, which we have like a team a team b and the winner okay so we have team a india pakistan and the winner is india in that match in pakistan bangladesh pakistan is the winner in bangladesh sri lanka sri lanka is the winner and sri lanka india india is the winner okay and then we have the output data so we need to create a sql query so that we have this type of output that if india wins two matches in the win it will be two in the loss it will be zero pakistan win only one match so one ma one win one loss bangladesh zero two loss so same okay okay so how you will do this so basically we will use case when statement here so interview want to uh, check your knowledge on the case when case when statement so select team as a team sum uh, we need to do the sum and case when team equal to winner then we will give the one and uh, else zero as win okay and when team is not equal to winner then we are giving as loss and we are selecting all the teams so that's why we need uh, team comma winner from union all uh, team b as team and winner from welcome matches so why we are doing union all because we have to get all the teams okay uh, as all matches how many matches they have played and group by team we are doing and order by win descending so interviewer wants to check your basic knowledge on case when statements that's why they are asking you this question the next question they have asked is uh, we have two tables table a which have roll number student name and total marks table b which have subject wise scores so uh, roll number one we have a subject english uh, then we have the score 50 and in the output he wants that roll number one english hindi math science social all these uh, marks and the name of the student and the total so from these two tables we have to combine and then give this output in this format okay so what we have done is select a dot roll number from table a max case when b dot subject equal to english then b dot score and l as uh, as english okay so for english in the math science social uh, we have put the uh, case when statement and we are putting uh, we are using the max max uh, uh, of uh, those scores okay and then we are uh, using a dot student name as name total marks as total from table a and we are doing the lab join because we all we need is everything from the right table but only the matching records which are matching uh, with the roll number from the right okay so a dot roll number equal to b dot roll number and group by roll number we are doing uh, name we are doing and marks we are doing okay so in this also we have to use the case when statement so this is a somewhat tricky sql question that they can ask you now they have asked like write a dex to create a 
total sales if you have price and quantity in a table so if you have two columns which have price and quantity and if you have to create a total sales and then how you can create it so in uh, we can use the sum x function basically here and we can use the total sales equal to sum x and we have used the all function to remove all the filter context basically okay so we have uh, removed all the filter context from the sales table in the sales table we have the quantity and we are multiplying it with the price so they want to see if you know the iterator functions or not okay so sum x basically go row by row and uh, calculate everything uh, basically create the total sales and then give you a output in the measure okay then they have asked like write a dex to extract a month from a date so this uh, they have asked like a combine uh, combining to this question like how you can uh, uh, create a uh, create a total uh, month month uh, month sales basically uh, so how you can create like extract a month from the date so we have like a month number uh, so in month number measure what we have done is we have used the month and in the month we have just put our date column so you have to give answer like this okay so hope you guys have learned so much in this video if you like this video please uh, subscribe to my channel like this video and share to your data analysts friends who are preparing for power bi interviews thank you and have a great day